Hello guys, Coda2393 here bringing you a gameplay of Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, this is Team Deathmatch on Radiation. Um, once again, preparing. Today I'll be using the FAMAS with Red Dot Sight, rocking the Claymore as usual, and perks. Yeah, well, I don't know. That will come up when I die. Um, so, this is one of my early matches actually. Um, I don't know what level I was actually. This has been on my hard drive for a while, so I thought I might uh, get something up here. Anyway, as you can see, radiation. This map is mainly uh, a lot of action actually goes through the middle and the left side of it, if you're looking at it, sort of not from that point of view together. From, if I, I didn't want to be right that, like that, yes. Left and center. Um, a lot of action comes through that. Um, not really much comes through on the right side, which is what I'm the side I'm on now, and that's just because spawns happen there. And, you know, it takes a little bit to get into the middle, and then all hell breaks loose. Um, this bit here, where I was just looking down, is a very big, uh, a very big spot that people run through. It's pretty high traffic, um, thus meaning it's going to have a lot of people running through it. Thus meaning a lot of kills. Um, so I started getting raped here, actually. Um, and, oh yeah, Hardline Slide of Hand and Marathon. I think it was Marathon. Could be Marathon. I'm pretty sure it's Marathon. Um, as you can see, I'm just doing the Modern Warfare 2 uh, tactic here. I haven't watched this gameplay fully. Um, and doing rushing. And, uh, even though I do get a, like, a, a 2.43 KD or something, 2.13 KD at the end of the match, um, doing that tactic is not going to get you a very good spot in, uh, the leaderboards. Oh, with your mind and thinking that you're not actually frustrated. Um, rushing in Black Ops is just going to get you killed. I'm going to put it out there. Don't get frustrated at it because once you get frustrated, you get worse at the game. That's meaning you get more frustrated. That's meaning you're going to rage quit. That's meaning you're going to think you're a stupid idiot because you rage quit the game when it was just the fact that you were frustrated and you shouldn't have been. If you actually got that, kudos too, because that made a little bit of sense. A little bit. Um, oh, that was theater fail. Um, anyway, guys, just letting you know my Call of Duty progress right now. I'm actually first prestige, level 16 now. So I'm on the way, and um, I'll be sure to have a couple more gameplays up um, over the past couple of days. And just putting it out there again, part two of Alan Wake, the writer, is uh, coming up in two days. Um, or maybe one day, depending on what day it is. If it's the ninth, one day, eighth, two, two days. Um, so check that out. I think it's a pretty cool thing. I love the game. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, if you're into that game, then uh, be sure to check it out because it's awesome. Uh, check those vids out. Um, so I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, I'm actually going to talk about my gunplay for once. So, um, in this map, um, fail kegs. Um, in this map, it's all mainly focused down that sort of, that area that I was talking about at the start. It's a good place to go through, and as you can see, they just come through and rush you. If you're playing a bad team, they will continually rush you, even though you're killing them multiple times, as you can see. Um, so it's a good idea to pretty much stick to high ground. That's always going to be a good thing for you and also stick, if you're going to stick to low ground, stick in the covered areas because obviously you won't be able to get killed as much. Thus meaning, I don't know, I just lost my chain of thought. Thus meaning you're going to get like a better KD in the end of the match. Um, so as you can see here, when I do get my kill streaks, I don't use them straight away. Um, unless they're swipe planes or the attack helicopters because they're pretty much deployable. And with the care packages, you have to throw them down, you have to wait a couple seconds, and, and then you can get killed straight away. Um, I'm talking unusually fast for this commentary. Ooh. Hmm, trying to sound smart for COD. Ooh, yeah. Um, anyway, as you see, I was going for the knife there. That's not a very good idea. A little bit of a tip, I'd say to you guys, is um, if you get a knife, someone, 
Obviously, the range is quite varied. I was playing gun, gun game, sticks and stones today, and um, the knife range was quite varied, um, depending on what position you're in and what position the other person's in. Are you trying to knife? Um, see what I mean there? Coming up over the top, uh, I could I couldn't even see anyone, and um, I got killed there. So that's a good thing, because that guy was using cover, and I couldn't even see the guy unless I like blankly shot. Um, so you should try that if you are having trouble, you know, with that whole thing. Um, also, this is, I think this is the first match I actually got a Sam Torrent. And I was actually like, yeah, these aren't very good. And I started getting the points. I was like, 150 for taking out a spy plane. And stuff like that. And it's really actually an effective way of leveling higher and leveling up faster. Well, obviously, you're going to level higher, unless you prestige. Um, but yeah, it's a good thing. Sam Torrents are really effective, and they help your team quite a lot. So, um, if you want to, and if you, you know, you think that it's necessary, put on a Sam Torrent. I highly recommend it. You get points for it, and it helps your team out. Um, what the hell am I doing? Oh, RC. RC fail. Um, but yeah, it helps your team out, and... Ooh, Rambo knife. Um, helping your time out is good. And spy planes are also are very, very helpful. Or blackbirds, if you can get to that kill streak. Um, they really help. And um, that's what I usually have. I have spy plane. I'll have a spy plane. Uh, maybe an attack helicopter. Sometimes chopper gunner and stuff. And it really helps the team. Uh, not chopper gunner, Sam Tyrant, sorry. Um, it helps the team and the fact that the enemy was trying to get them, obviously their air support's going to go down, which gives the team a better chance, or our team, or my team, or whatever team, the good team, um, is going to continue on and hopefully win the match, which will give you more XP. So it's a win-win situation. Anyway guys, this video is coming to an end. I've actually had a bit more intellectual process on uh, this match, so... I don't know, that was kind of kind of random for me to do that, to speak sort of more legitimately. But I hope you enjoyed the commentary, guys. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay as well. More will be coming up very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that, and also stay tuned for Alan Wake Part 2. Obviously, the writer. Game winning kill cam, hoorah! Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. See you guys later.